I struggle with and dislike the term sovereign citizen when it comes to these people. It's like we give them credit somehow. It's sort of a new term, but we see it more and more out there, people claiming this, and I don't know where they get it from either. Like, I'm a sovereign citizen. Like, where, where did you get that from? You know, how do you think that you're going to tell that to a cop that pulls you over for speeding and you could say, I'm a sovereign citizen. I don't abide by the laws of this county, this state, or this country. Uh, you know, I would say, okay, uh, step out of the car, please. <laughs> when you're back, you're under arrest, you know. Uh, but they fight it right till the end, you know. Uh, sometimes they have to have their windows broken to pull them out, forcibly remove them from the car. And that's where sometimes the sovereign citizen realizes uh, windows are expensive. Maybe he won't be sovereign the next time, you know. Let me go back to uh, Brian Enton here. Statement, you know, Oklahoma is a death penalty state. Is it possible? I mean, she's, you know, she's slick. Is it possible that she's trying to outsmart the others uh, and start talking immediately, get on the, uh, get on the investigators' good side, start cooperating? Maybe she avoids the death penalty, uh, and you know, can um, can cooperate. That that's kind of the first thing I thought of. Or or you know, or she pulls the old, you know, uh, they did it. And I got bullied or beaten right. into going along with it. I mean, there's all sorts of different permutations and combinations for how to be first to the well if there's four of you going, you know, to trial for double murder in a death penalty state. So the other thing was is she did enter a not guilty plea. So that's in contravention to, to this whole notion that she admitted it to, to investigators. And then the other reporting that we have, which is not part of the affidavit, this is source reporting here at News Nation, and that is that she did not provide the accurate location of the gravesite. You've been there. You literally were there. It's um, it's it's not hard to miss. What do you make of the fact that she didn't provide accurate information to the gravesite to the investigators? I mean, is it possible she wasn't there? And back to the not guilty plea. I mean, I think that that's almost like a formality. They all just entered not guilty sure. pleas immediately. So I don't know that that really means. Well, then why did she confess? And how do those two things relate to each other? I think she didn't have a lawyer yet, and she just automatically entered the not guilty plea. In terms of where the bodies were discovered and whether she led them to the wrong spot or gave bad information, um, you know, I don't really know what to make of it. You know, what I heard from the beginning is that it was the burner phone cell phone pings that led police uh to that area and to start digging in that area and um if you if you live in that area and i learned this talking to the ranchers out there if you live out there you know what the soil is supposed to look like you know the color it's supposed to be you know the consistency it's supposed to be you know exactly the way it's supposed to feel under your feet and they were able to figure out relatively quickly in that area that there had been some digging in that spot. They tried to cover with the hay, which I know you're going to well, get into later. But um, I think the cell yeah, phone you're things are what us. brought them You're going to yeah. show us. Definitely they did. So I keep coming back to, well, what did Tiffany say? Where did she send them? If she was giving information about where the bodies could be found, but it wasn't accurate, it doesn't make sense because they probably knew already from, I think, Jamie Beasley is the landowner, right? He, yeah. he rented land. He leased land to Tad. And then Tad came. You know, Mike, I think there's no doubt that the, the cell phones led them right to that spot. Uh, I don't think they needed Granny's uh, directions, Granny, to tell them that, uh, and of course, Granny's Tiffany Adams. I think the cell phone pings, the geofencing led them right to the location. And of course... Uh, Beasley leased the land to Tad Cullum, so it was almost like a no-brainer that that was uh, that was part of it. They, the 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 um, cell phone pings, the fact that Beasley they found out Beasley leased this land to Tad uh, Cullum, that um, allowed them to understand where the land was. Trucker girl, thank you for the nine ninety nine super sticker. Thank you for covering this with no sugar coating. Well. We try to give it to you from a police perspective, and thank you uh, for your contribution. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah, so I don't think that, uh, you know, probably Granny didn't give a, a full confession, although we I spoke about it. Let me just play this, and then I'll speak a, a little more to the confessions. To him and said, I'm going to do some digging down by the dam. No big thing. I'm just moving a tree stump. 
Well, it turned out that was not what they were doing. They were digging allegedly a 10 foot grave. And that's how, you know, the authorities know that that not only was Tad there for that meeting prior to digging, but so was Tiffany. Tiffany, according to the authorities, was there for that meeting beforehand saying, I'm bringing a front end loader on a skitter mm. or whatever they call it. And, and we're going to dig and we're going to move some land and it's all good by you. Thanks. OK, all good. Let's go. So Tiffany was there. She knew exactly what it was they were doing, according to the authorities. So if she sent them to a different location, I think they had her right there by the, you know, they had mm. her tight because they already knew from, from Mr. Beasley that. Uh, and that, that could explain how they got the statement that digging. we've been trying to figure out. You know, is it a confession? Is it not a confession? Yeah. I guess that could relate back to that. Could have.